today I'm going to show you how to make a field in PowerPoint. All right. Um, I'll also do one of these for Google Slides. All right. But the, you know, I'm going to teach you how to do it in this landscape mode, but you can do it also once you, you know, know how to do it, you'll be able to do it in any uh, slide shape that you want. All right. So we'll go to a new slide. Okay, the very first thing that we will do is we will make a uh, rectangular, a rectangle. Um, I like to make mine six inches tall, nine inches wide. I do it because it is easy to divide up the hashes um, and the yards for football field. So we obviously don't want it to be blue. So what we will do is we will go no fill and then our outline will be black. And that is just to build it in. Well, actually, I personally don't really use the outline, but you can. All right. So now let's build out our hashes and our yard lines. So first thing you want to do is make your hashes. So the way you do that is you make a line and we're going to make it three inches. All right. Why three inches? Because we're going to divide this into thirds. All right. So we use this just as like, I just use it as a measuring stick. All right. And um, so I'm going to duplicate that command D or control D if you're on a uh, Microsoft and I'm going to change the uh, color to black and then I'm going to change the white to two and a quarter. Um, that's good enough. All right. Uh, we'll, we'll also end up be We'll be deleting that as well, but I'm going to change it now and set it as so uh, right click and set as the default line. But we'll be deleting that as well. We're just using these as guidelines. All right. Take this. Let's move it over to the right here. Command D. Back at it right there. Now we've got our three. Uh, even the field is now split up into thirds, just like a high school football field. We can delete that. Now we're going to build our yard lines. All right. So I actually didn't need to delete that. We can use this again. Um, we'll just now use it vertically. So if this is six inches and I want to make this field 30 yards, so I'm going to take, um, I'm going to divide that by five, right? Because we want, you know, we want this to be five yards. So when you do that, what you're going to find is that a yard in this world that we're creating here is going to be 0 0.2. So we get 0 0.2, we multiply that by five for a yard, and we're going to get 0 0.1. Um, excuse me, we're going to get one, not 0 0.1. And that is our five yard line. So then we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate this and we will turn it sideways horizontally and we will put it at the end there. Then we'll, didn't mean to do that. We'll just do the same thing. We grab this, move it down and then we will duplicate that and put it here. Then we'll take this, move it down. We will highlight both duplicate both, move them down, then we will duplicate. Yeah, we just need just these two. No, I didn't even need that, just one. And there we go. All right, so there we go. Now we have our grid set out and we can start to do our hashes. So, once again, though, we won't need these after we build these hashes, but we will need these. So we're going to take this, we'll just duplicate it, turn it this way. We're going to make it 0 0.2 as well, because we're just, we're going to make each hash a yard. And then we're going to duplicate it and make it 0 0.2 this way. Zoom in. Come here. And put this to the left and we're just going to match that thing up it doesn't have to be perfect but if you can see like i'm meeting it right angle and then so i'm going to move this one under it take that duplicate meet it 
see it's not perfect but what I have found is that it certainly doesn't need to be perfect all right it'll look good enough so we're gonna move it there we go we'll just move it down a little bit and we're just duplicating this and the good news is we'll only ever have to do this once because we'll copy the rest so there you go you've got some hash marks so we will duplicate this command to clicking all those then command D we will move it over here and we will just eyeball that but it's pretty good then we will command select all of these it'll be control if you're on a PC we will go command D to duplicate we will do the same thing here and once again we will eyeball it looks good enough to me now we will select all of these with those also selected command D we will move them down here and once again we will eyeball it looks good enough to me how many more we got left just two so then we'll command D again and it automatically puts them there our point smart starts to figure it out all right so there we go it is you know to me good enough all right doesn't need to be perfect don't need to spend a lot of time you can but to me it looks good enough some of these might be a little close but in the grand scheme of things it does not matter all right so then we can go ahead and delete these uh these long lines down there and there we go we have a field it is that easy so you can take this and you can make it um, whatever thickness you want. We'll make it two and a quarter. There we go. Boom. That's your field. Then you can highlight the whole thing. Go to arrange group. Now you've got a whole entity. You can move around, copy, paste. It's all together. And you can do whatever you want with it. So hope that helps. Um, you know, once you understand how to do it, you can do it on any format you want. But if you, you know, you constantly use this size of slides, then ideally, right, you'll always be able to use uh, the same one over and over again. You only have to ever do this once. So hope you saw those quick and easy. If you have any questions, just um, let me know.